Simmers, I'm about to change your life. I'm not kidding, someone made a bunk bed mod for The Sims 4. Bunk beds in The Sims 4! I know! <laughs> We've been waiting for this moment for so long! And you know, we used to have a bunk bed mod, but then it broke, didn't it? Um, but yesterday, someone made a new bunk bed mod, a functional bunk bed mod, adding functional bunk beds, loft beds for toddlers. People lost their minds. Whenever something big happens in the Sims community, you know it's big the second I start getting emails about it. People emailed me <laughs> the link to the bunk bed mod. First of all, don't email me unless it's about bunk beds, okay? I'm serious. But I love this idea of like seeing a Reddit post about bunk beds in the Sims and being like, oh my god. I have to email Lil Simsy. <laughs> and naturally, I also got very excited, and so I just downloaded the bunk bed mod. We're gonna look at it ourselves. Like, first impressions, you know, we're gonna test it out. Am I jumping the gun by, like, making a video on a thing I haven't even tested yet? Maybe, but, like, <laughs> we'll see. I'll also link it down below. This is Build CC, and you guys know I don't ever really use CC at all, let alone Build CC. I mean, I have some like hairs and, and stuff, sums and others. I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of CC. I just don't use it that often. But I am not opposed to testing out some bunk beds every now and again, and um, I'm really excited about this. I think bunk beds are like the number one most requested, most desired item in this game right now. I mean, bunk beds are the new toddlers, and honestly, the bunk bed spam and and wishes might be worse than the toddler wishes because like I think at some point we all gave up on toddlers and then got surprised with them no one's giving up on bunk beds <laughs> we want bunk beds and Ravashin made them for the sims 4 this is a sims resource post about them this will be linked down below look at this okay I'm sorry I'm getting too excited <laughs> we should like make sims for this right I mean it's important I'll make a I'll do a personality quiz oh what a nice guy! Literally, I mean, he's good. He's a conservationist. Aw, Duncan Milligan. What a man. <gasps> his daughter. Oh my god, his daughter Clarissa, who is also good. Oh, I was hoping for some like weird people. These are just like nice, normal people. This isn't okay. Okay, you know what? No, I can work with this. <laughs> Jonathan. Oh, who's angelic? They really are all nice people. That's so annoying. That's just not allowed. I was- I was hoping for some weirdos. We could like make fun of them and like maybe a vampire or something, but no. Oh, I'm so excited. So the bedrooms are really small in this house. We have three kids in one room, so what do we need? Bunk beds. <laughs> I'm getting rid of all of this weird stuff in here. Oh, this is the best day of my life. Okay. <laughs> So we have the lofted version, the bunk version, the regular bottom version, and a matching toddler version. The dream! Okay, what we gotta do, I think, honestly, is- is the lofted situation in here. I mean, that- that's just adorable, right? Like, come on. The ladder snaps! Oh, I'm so curious how these are gonna work. Oh, the swatches are nice too. Can we use the blue ones? No, Simsy, don't be dumb. Use the white swatch because then the beds will all match. And one of the most fun parts about this, right, is that these people that make mod versions, they make it so that you have to put the bed, like the mattress, on separately from the frame so you can fully customize. Like, I want a white frame or a black frame with this bed swatch so I can get whatever kind of bed I want. These are so cute! <gasps> Leaves! Wow. Oh my god, wait. I love- oh, I love this one. No, this one- oh my god, I love this one. There's so many cute options- I'm too fragile for this. Like, <laughs> can I make- can I use those? Okay, let's use those. Should probably get some furniture in here too while we're at it. Oh, this dresser is mirrored! <gasps> oh, my poor little precious heart can't take this. <laughs> I'll stick it over here. Okay, I can't place this against the wall, so... <laughs> Taller beds going in the middle of the room. <gasps> Look how little bitty the nightstand is! Oh, that's perfect. Usually nightstands in this game are so enormous. This isn't like an, a normal sized nightstand. <laughs> I like how tiny the desk is too. This is so perfect for the tiny living pack, genuinely. I mean, I'm sure you guys know this, but like the tiny living pack, I think it really needs some um, small things. That doesn't make any sense. Bunk beds are good for it, okay? You get what I'm saying? We have a lot of kids, not a lot of space. You go sleep. You go sleep. Okay, I'm so curious what the animation looks like. I'm pretty sure she's just gonna jump up to the bed. I mean, it's not gonna be animated. The ladder is like purely for for looks, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's all about the function. Just like look away, you know? Obviously this bed, she just gets in it like normal, but then our friend here, she goes whoop. Oh, that's better than I expected. Oh, that's fun. Okay, hang on. <laughs> get out of the bed. No, 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 no. Come, come, come here, come here, come here. How does she get down from it? Oh, that's not as exciting. Okay. Should we like first person it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was that sickening. Okay, gross. And not like in the Jeffree Star sense, um, 
in the that that was um disorienting sense i'm so excited this is the dumbest part i don't know why i care so much look at her go she like flies and that's the thing obviously with a mod like this like we don't have the animations in the game for her to climb up the ladder but again i don't really care about that like the sims team when they make bunk beds they have to worry about that and that's the hard part is animating it because you can make a bed that's up high and like get your sims to go in it that's not difficult but the sims team it's the climbing of the ladder that we're missing, unfortunately. In in many senses, we don't have ladders at all in this game. We have pool ladders and beach ladders, but we don't have like ladders to a second floor for some reason. Oh, I wanted to see what the bed quality was like on these. How high are these qualities? Energy 10! Oh, see, when you get mods, you can get cheap mattresses <laughs> for such good energy 10, stress relief 10, discomfort relief. 10. This is both a blessing and a curse, I think, because I worry sometimes, like, sometimes it's nice to have a kind of bad bed. You know, like with toddler beds, too. Oh, this toddler bed is 10 energy? Oh, no. I saw that they posted an update to the Reddit post being like, hey, here's an updated version of the toddler bed that has less energy to it. <laughs> because the reason the base game toddler beds are like energy 1 and energy 3. This one's energy 3. Ooh. The other ones are energy one because you want your toddlers to sleep a long time. Like if you want to have a life, <laughs> you need your toddlers in bed. Hang on, how fast does the toddler's energy need go all the way up then with an energy 10 bed? All right, our kid's exhausted. Let's test this out. I'm so curious. <laughs> Because the toddlers are the only people you actually want to have a bad bed for. Like, you want these things to sleep a lot. Although, if you're trying to, like, get their skills up fast, this kind of bed could be good to have. But, like, realistically, for your average everyday gameplay, you do not want them awake. <laughs> they need to go to bed at, like, 6 p.m., you know? Like, that... Just like real life. Babies need a lot of sleep. Okay, now sleep, child. We went to bed at 9 a.m. Welcome, wagon! Go away! I'm busy! <laughs> Can't you tell? Oh, now my kids are all... Oh. Ooh! Girl standing in the air. Okay, that's okay. If she wants to stand in the air, she totally can. I'm not here to judge. I mean, yeah, this toddler went to bed at 9.30 and he's like halfway, over halfway rested by 1.30. Like this bed's kind of OP, honestly. Wasn't it like 300 simoleons too? No, yeah, that's nice. That's the fun thing about mods. A lot of times when you download custom content furniture, you can get like really nice things for really cheap. While like the energy 10 beds in the real game, like the ones that aren't modded, to get a bed that's energy 10, I mean, there's what? Like this one's 8,000, this one's eight, it's five, almost 5,000, 8,500, 12,000, 15,000, you know, the the good beds are all really expensive. Oh, this is so fun. It's these kind of things that make me like, oh, I wanna start using build CC, but like, I wanna do builds without CC so you guys can all download them. Cause like, once I start putting CC in my builds and I put them on the gallery, you guys can't really get them as easy cause they're gonna be missing things. And like, the poor console players, you poor, poor modless console players. <laughs> you guys didn't know. Console only just got the gallery, like, this month, um, and that you can't have mods on console. There are no console mods, so UI cheats, they don't have it. MC Command Center, they don't have it. Bunk beds, sorry. The Sims is such a, a game so heavily based on mods, too, it's, it kinda sucks that it isn't possible on console, but, like, blame Xbox, you know? This is, like, genuinely great custom content. The swatches are great. The, the items themselves are amazing, like, the textures on these beds, like, like the detail with the walls and stuff. Walls. Are these walls? Fences on the bunk bed? Whatever this part is. The sides of the bunk bed. <laughs> Everything about this stuff is really awesome. I'm I'm so impressed. So like I said, I'll link in the mod down below if you want to get the CC off the Sims resource. Imagine how easily you could build a really, really nice baby challenge house with these because you could put like a bunch of energy 10 bunk beds in your house and like you're good to go. Ah, oh, amazing. <laughs> Serious game changer for sure. But on that note, I am gonna go. Please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those funny YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. I wish that I could express to you how excited I got when I saw this Reddit post about bunk beds. Like my poor little simmer heart, I like nearly cried. I am such a weenie about this kind of stuff.